Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm making this video today for anybody else that's like me that wants to be able to very easily monitor the airspace in Eastern Europe as well as Ukraine and Russia. Now obviously this will only work for aircraft that have their transponder active. However, it appears that most of the NATO allies do have their transponders active and even many of the Russian transports that are going into Belarus as well have had their transponders active. Now I honestly find it pretty amazing that most of these aircraft still have their transponders active like you can see exactly where this strato tanker is however i assume this is mainly because they're flying in highly contested airspace with probably hundreds of other passenger aircraft and the last thing they want is some accident to happen now one of the coolest things i think i've actually been able to see so far has been this global hawk and then f-15 at one point that was flying around now without applying any of the filters that i have down in the description this is what you'll be looking at normally and there's just a sea of passenger planes and it's really hard to distinguish what is a passenger plane versus a military aircraft. Now I know it can be done without the filters and you just have to look for an aircraft without a flight number or without a return destination, but it's honestly a pain. So what you're gonna wanna do is click the filters button down at the bottom and then change the filter to ICAO. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go in the description of the video copy whatever filter set you want to use, paste them in, press enter, and within about maybe five to 20 seconds, depending on your internet speed, it'll automatically filter out all of the passenger aircraft so you just are displayed the current military aircraft in the area you're looking at. And this is honestly super cool to be able to do because as soon as you turn on those filters, it really highlights exactly where each military aircraft is, just like this Russian transport that's most likely headed to Belarus. Now there may be one or two passenger aircraft like this one that sneak by the filter, but that's only because the model number of the plane is essentially identical to the military spec of the plane. So there's really no way for the transponder code to be different. So it's basically gonna display same model of plane and there's not really too much we can do about that. As time goes on, I will try and update the filters down in the description with more information on exactly what ICAO code represents each plane. And any questions you guys have got or anything you want to talk about, just drop a comment down below and I'll try and get back to everybody that I can. And I honestly really feel for the Ukrainian people and what they're going through right now because I could just put myself in their shoes and how I would feel if I was being invaded by a foreign country unprovoked and I had a memorandum which was signed back in 1994 saying, hey, I'll give up my nuclear weapons and in exchange, I'll be a sovereign nation and you won't infringe upon my sovereignty. And Russia has pretty much just spit in the face of Ukraine and said, yeah, we know we had that agreement and all, but yeah, we're not going to honor that especially because now you're thinking about leaving us and going to NATO. And I think we all could admit Ukraine has kind of been left to fend for itself. I know we've imposed some sanctions, but that's not going to have any instant impact that will, you know, stop Putin's invasion dead in its tracks in the next couple days or anything. And I think most of us over here in America are rooting for Ukraine because they're the underdog. And at least so far, it doesn't really look like the Russian invasion's really gone according to plan where they thought they just mopped the floor with the Ukrainians. However, I do also know that the bulk of the Russian army is still yet to really enter the theater of war. So we can only wait and see what happens.